Pastor Mike Scan here, senior pastor of Epic Life Church, and it is our three-minute Thursday where we're going to take three minutes and look at different issues and topics of the Bible. Today, we're going to do three minutes in the feast. Now, we have to remember something about the feast of the holy days found in Leviticus 23. And that's, that is basically that these things were created as rehearsals. That's what holy convocation means. It means a rehearsal or it means an appointment. And they're here to remind us of what God has done in the life of the believer and what he is going to do. We have spring feast and fall feast. It's a time of celebration. It's a time to gather with your family, have a great great time. Most of them, all but one, are about feasting and eating and having a great time. So here's what I want to talk to you about and what we're going to spend a couple of minutes on is don't allow yourself to become frustrated and confused by all of the information out there. Remember, it's not about all of that, but it's about drawing closer to our Heavenly Father. This past Sunday, matter of fact, in a message, I talked on these feasts and I had many questions of how do I start? So I just want to run through a couple of things on how you you can start celebrating the feast at your home with your family. First and foremost, when we get ready, I want you to observe it closely or slowly. I'm sorry, not closely, but observe it slowly. Don't try to figure it all out in one year. You weren't born into a Jewish, a Messianic Jewish family. You're just now discovering. So take it time. Take your time slowly. Maybe just observe it on your calendar this time. And maybe next time, maybe just do the Sabbath, the Saturday the seventh day of the week and hold that holy unto the Lord and take that time off and not work. The big thing is don't overwhelm yourself as if you were born into that, that family because obviously it's new. Most of what you will read is from those who are, have been saved and who have uh, been born into this or have been practicing Messianic Judaism or the feast or the dietary issues or all that stuff. They've discovered this stuff a long time ago and been practicing it. So don't overwhelm yourself. Investigate. See what fits your family. Take the time to look at how it applies to this family or to this family. YouTube, right here where you're at, you can look at tons of resources, but do some investigating and start slowly. All right. The next thing is investigate in it and then create your own traditions and your own style of participant. Your heavenly father's not looking down from heaven, wondering if you're doing it right. He is just pleased that you are celebrating this time together. Don't seek profession, perfection in it the first time. Remember, you're just starting out. Enjoy it. Honor God with whatever you're doing and do it. Start small. And uh, just like being a believer in Christ, as you matured, this too will grow and mature in you. In the book of Acts chapter 15, uh, 10 through 21, you're going to see an amazing story of how the Gentiles were first coming in. And, and the, some of the Jews were saying, hey, they got to do it this way. And James stood up and said, no, don't force all this stuff on them at once because they're going to learn about it. Verse 21 says they're going to learn about the law of Moses in all uh, the regions. And so don't worry about it. Just have them do four things. And the four Four things were just starting points for them to begin the journey in the roots of our Hebrew culture. And so don't overwhelm yourself. I love you guys. Man, have fun with this. Investigate it. Enjoy it. Shalom. Until next time, this has been 3 Minute Thursday.